Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. In this edition, I had some uh, uh, magnetic catches to my drawers. Recently, I was on a camping trip and after I hit a bit of asphalt that had raised uh, due to the heat, uh, my drawers, all five of them in my kitchen area, flew off and uh, had to replace some of uh, the uh, slides. In fact, I, have a, I found another a pair of slides that I have to replace in the upcoming days. So in this edition, I'm gonna be adding some uh, magnetic catches, hopefully to keep, <laughs> in my desperation, to keep the drawers in place. And in fact, in one of the drawers, I added two <laughs> magnets just to make sure it didn't move at all. So I hope you like this video. If you have any comments, questions, and especially suggestions, leave them below. Again, this is a Rockwood Mini Light 2205S, 2022 edition. And I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Again, I'm not a carpenter. I have no claim on being a carpenter. My uncle Manuel Garza was a carpenter, but I am definitely not a carpenter. So hope you enjoy this uh, little bit of video. And at the end, I have a little extra bonus. I found some mysterious goings on uh, just below the uh, RV oven. Let's see what that is. And that's towards the end. Here I am taking out one of the drawers, all three drawers on the left side uh, came out the last time I had a little bit of an accident, hitting a bit of uh, asphalt while traveling down the road. So here I am opening up some magnets uh, that I had uh, in my cabinets for quite a while. I bought some other magnets that didn't work, other kinds of magnets and they didn't work and some other contrivances and they didn't work but these I found them <laughs> stored away and they seem to do the trick so they require two screws to attach uh, the magnet and uh, one screw to attach the metal plate so here I am attaching these to my cabinets one thing I learned very quickly is that you can't use your drill to uh, screw in all the way because that pulverized cheap ass wood uh, falls apart readily. So I did that a couple times and then I had to fill it up with putty, let it dry for about a half hour and then I replace it. So I marked it there where the screws go and they have this area where you can go back and forth. You can adjust uh, where you want to put in the screws. So I'm going to get my old trusty uh, budgets screwdriver that I typically use to lower my stabilizers. I have a more powerful uh, drill at home. In fact, I'll say it. So, notice here I go a little bit too far <laughs> to fill that one in later with putty and do it all over again because that uh, drill went a little too far and that wood uh, is not hardwood. It's not hickory. It's not oak. It's not any kind of decent wood, it's just basically some uh, budget wood covered in vinyl wrap, sticker wrap. So here I am screwing it in carefully. I can't use my drill because it's a little bit too powerful. Even that budget screwdriver that I bought, you know, it's, uh, it's not good for this purpose. So there I am. You can adjust it again forwards and backwards and um, it seems to be working out pretty good. I'm going to put one on both sides, one on each side, and call it good. I'm going to show you here. I have one on that side, and I have one on that side. This is the drawer that I bought the new slides for, and it does not have any sort of locking mechanism like the other, you know, drawers do, the drawer slides that came with from the manufacturer. So, not that they're very good. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, keeping the drawers in, but, uh, so I'm going to use this. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Again, uh, that little plate, you can give it a little hit and it has a little bit of uh, an area there where it, it can uh, sort of stay in place. And of course, I adjusted it, made sure it's nice and straight, etc., etc. So there's the magnet and that drawer is pretty good for both sides. Now I have two, two magnets. Two magnets are always better than one, don't you think? And hopefully, as I travel down the road with practically nothing in there, I'll probably put a couple cotton balls in there and call it good. Now here's a 
thing I saw from the other side where I was doing the slides and drawers and the magnets on the other side. I noticed a piece was uh, not where it's supposed to be. There's a plate that goes in front of this heater element. And uh, maybe you can help me out there if you have any understanding what I should do. Should I put it back in place or just leave it open? Uh, I don't know. I'm not an HVAC expert. Again, uh, it has four screws there. And, uh, and the piece of sheet metal looked pretty rough. It looked like it uh, been, was a little bent, a little rusty. Uh, not in good shape. So here I am taking out the uh, four screws in my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S 2022 edition. Very nice. It's about 100 degrees outside. I turned off the AC to do the video when I shot myself and uh, because it's uh, nobody wants to hear the sound of air conditioner especially the budget HVAC system for this unit so it, that was when I opened it, it just plopped down it wasn't in place there's apparently a couple screws that you can use and uh, let me show it to you I'm trying to figure out if I should just screw it back on or just leave it off you tell me. Again, uh, you're, you're the experts out there, the folks that actually work for a living. I have no idea if I should screw this plate back on or if they left that unattached intentionally. So it's a little rough in certain spots right there. It's a little bent, a little contorted, and definitely looked like it had some screws. Uh, again, it looked like it had some screws in this covers. And uh, why? have vents that little piece of ventilation uh, that wood that covers that space and have it covered up that doesn't serve any purpose unless the expects to get air from the sides and there i am looking at it examining it not that i know what i'm doing <laughs> ay, 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 ay. So it's been super, super, super hot here in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm trying to figure out how would I place it back if I decided. But I decided to, hey, let's just ask my subscribers, people who watch this video, maybe you know better. Maybe you can say, hey, punch out those holes. Uh, some of you might say, hey, just uh, leave it where it's at, uh, etc., etc. I don't really use the heater that much, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not a big fan of... Uh, you know, cold temps. I'm not a big fan of hot temps either. So, what do you think? Uh, I would greatly, 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 greatly appreciate your uh, wonderful professional advice. Again, that's, uh, that's the vent right there. That's the area where the air goes in or goes out. You tell me. What do I know? Again, thanks for watching RV and Travel Adventures. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly absolutely greatly greatly appreciate it and if you have the time and only if they have the time please leave your kind and super friendly comments abajo below again muchos muchísimos gracias and don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications notificaciones i uh, hope you found this video interesting uh, i have i'm having a lot of issues with my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. I heard that's uh, relatively normal for people who do RVing. They have to fix a lot of stuff. I didn't know I was in for all kinds of, uh, of uh, DIY adventures in my Rockwood Mini Light. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. It's 100 degrees here in Fort Worth. It was 100 degrees yesterday. It was 100 degrees last week. And this week, it's gonna be 100 degrees again. And until uh, summer's over, It'll be what? It's gonna be 100 degrees. Welcome to my reality in Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.